Welcome back to Fucked If I Know the Podcast. Thank you so much for joining and thank you so much to everyone for all of your beautiful feedback so far. I am so thrilled whenever I see you sharing your stories that you're listening or get an email, a message or an email from you saying how much you love the podcast. So I'm so fucking thankful for everyone who tunes in and has a listen to my ramblings. Um, and I hope that you really take things away from them and are able to implement them in your life and just call in all the fucking magic because you deserve it. Um, and I will just ask a little favor if you are listening to this on iTunes, I would so appreciate a review over on iTunes. Something I'm manifesting this year is to be in a top 10 of wellness and entrepreneur podcast. So it's a big manifestation. I need your help to make it happen. So if you can and if you're in the position to do so, I would love for you to just jump over onto iTunes now and leave me a little review. But today I am here to sass talk you. I'm here to kick your butt. I'm here to give you a kick up the ass because one of my biggest pet peeves as a coach, as somebody who's in an inspirational space, as a wellness speaker or whatever you want to call me, is people playing victim mentality. People who get stuck in their fucking story. Now, I want to preface this by saying that everyone has had shit, right? From, you know, even if you had a very what you would call vanilla or non-traumatic upbringing or anything, you know, nothing major happening in your life, everyone's got shit going on, um, right to the degree of, you know, really fucked up shit that happens to people. So, I want to just jump and say on that on the like the start of this topic is that I'm not disregarding anything that has happened to you in your life. Bad things happen to people and it's fucked up and by no means am I saying like just get over it, but um you know because that's kind of what this podcast is about, but I don't want to disregard your struggles. I don't want to disregard your trauma. It's fucking happened and I don't want to yeah, I don't want to disregard it. So very much accept that, you know, you've had shit going on and everyone's had shit going on and it's all contextual in your life, right? So shit that's gone on in my life may not be as bad as somebody else's or it may be worse, whatever that is. But the whole point of this podcast is about getting out of your own fucking way and not living in your story anymore, not living in the excuses and the stories that hold you back from living your dream fucking life. So, you know, whether you've had um, money stolen off of you or you've been heartbroken or you had shit going on with your parents or you had a rubbish childhood or any anything traumatic it's up to you whether you decide to hold on to that story or not and that's quite a powerful fucking thing right is realizing that you have all of the power within you you've got it that you have the potential to change your fucking life if you want to and nobody else can do that for you no one else can release your story no one else can stop you from holding on to it anymore it's completely up to you and when it comes down to it Uh, you you know you do have that choice whether you want to sit in that story and sit in the resentment and the guilt or the denial or you know whatever it is that you've gone through you get to choose whether you sit in that or you decide to leave it in the past move on and get over it get the fuck over it I know that's brutal but I'm here to sass you today so hopefully this is being well received something as I said that you know has come up in MFA this week which is manifest fucking anything which is a group program that I teach about manifestation is a couple of um, a couple of my beautiful clients who are in the the thought process of oh I'm stuck or I can't do this or this is shit or this is hard or this is that and this happened to me and like god bless and they know I love them so they know I can sass them out about this Uh, but at the end of the day you know the only thing that I can present them with is do you want to still sit in this fucking mindset or do you want to shift it Do you want to sit in pity party or do you want to fucking get on with it and start making sales or start calling in a new job? Do you want to start calling in the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams? Like what, what do you want? Because we know that by sitting here in this negative fucking mopey energy that all you do is call in more of that experience. When we start to perpetually say to ourselves, I'm so broke or no one loves me or I had a shit childhood or this or this, I'm overweight, I'm this. All you do is call in more of that fucking scenario to yourself. And I can sass you because this was literally me a fortnight ago let's not forget that coaches and inspirational people go through all this shit as well uh you know mine was around my social media I was just experiencing this massive block of my social media like I was put, putting out all of this content recording all the fucking TikTok showing up on the stories and I was just getting like nothing back from the from social media I was like this is just you know my engagement's gone to shit my followers are going down every day and I was just getting really frustrated and I kept saying to myself I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck why isn't this moving I'm doing everything I possibly can and then I just really had to stop and like give myself my own fucking kick up the ass and go actually you're not doing everything you can because all you're doing is sitting here wallowing every fucking day and we're over it (laughs) literally over myself over listening to myself say to other people like oh I'm struggling this is hard like yes you're gonna have off days you know I had a massive off day yesterday and I allowed myself the grace and the patience to sit in that but I decided when I woke up this morning I want to choose differently I want to feel differently and it's up to me how I do that 
So instead of walking around being like, I'm stuck, my social media shit, rah, rah, rah. I said, I just realized I said that a lot, rah, rah, rah. Um, <laughs> instead of saying that, I assessed and looked at myself and went, okay, what's not working? First of all, my mindset's in the wrong place. I'm sitting here going, why me, why me, why me? Right? So that's the first step is acknowledging that you're in a funk and going, I choose differently. So straight away, hopped online onto YouTube, did an EFT tapping. If you don't know what that is, go and have a little research. It's fucking amazing. Did an EFT tapping around, I'm not stuck. Wrote in my journal in huge fucking letters, I am not stuck. I am not stuck, right? And it's so funny with stuck too because there's this amazing picture of this horse that's um, tied up to a plastic chair and it's got this really, really loose collar on like, um, you know, like fucking harness on or whatever attached to a plastic chair. So the horse could literally just like walk away from it at any point because he's obviously stronger than the chair. And it just goes to show us that our restrictions or our limitations are actually in our mind. And this is what it felt like. I felt like I was stuck and that I had this huge chain around my neck and that I couldn't move it. But in reality, all I had to do was take it off. And sometimes it is that simple. And I know it's frustrating to hear that, but sometimes it really is that simple. You go, you know what? I'm so fucking tired of hearing my own bullshit. I just want to choose differently. And sometimes I even hit myself in the head, like not hard, but last night I was laying in bed and I was getting all like up in my head about my body. I'm like, oh, I feel fat. This is fucking shit. I hate myself. Blah, blah, blah. And I literally smacked my head like, like dunk. And I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was like, oh. And I caught myself mid-thought and got me moving again. So it's really important for us at the start of anything when you're wanting to shift something, you're wanting to shift some energy is acknowledging that you're being a pain in the ass. And you know what? People probably don't want to fucking talk to you either. People probably don't interact with your stuff you're putting online. People don't like what you have to say. You're annoying to be around. And I know this is really brutal, but I've been here too. We've all fucking been there where you're the pain in the ass friend. And the only person that's going to change that is you. So I was with this social media shit. And I'm like, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. So I smacked myself in the head, go, you know what? I'm not stuck. And I really assessed myself and went, is my content actually any good at the moment? And that's a really hard fucking pill to swallow too. And when I was reading some of my posts, I was like, this is all about me. But really, my purpose on this earth is to serve others, is to provide value to others, to help them change their lives, to help them make better decisions. So I had to switch my content up and make it about my audience because that is what they are there for. Yes, they like my pictures. Yes, they like my words and all this kind of stuff. But people come to me because they love to learn from me. They love to hear from me. They love me to pep them up. So why the fuck wasn't I offering this? So really, it was this assessment of myself and going, you know, I'm so sick of saying I'm stuck and it's coming up. The energy in my socials is showing that way. Sick of my own shit. Look at the posts I'm making. Yeah, the pictures are pretty and whatever, but the words are not resonating with people and people pick up on energy. They really, really fucking do. And I just got sick of being the person who was messaging my friends saying, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. So I just fucking chose differently. So it came up in MFA this week, the coaching program this week. And even with some of my one-on-one clients being like, you know, I think I've got this problem and I think I've got this and, you know, this about me. And, you know, a couple of people had really big light bulb moments this week of going holy shit I've been telling myself this story for fucking years and all I have to do is change all I have to do is choose differently and it sounds painfully simple but that is what it is a lot of you are spending your lives and your days every day repeating a negative thought and guys we think I think it's like over 80,000 thoughts a day And most of them are repeat thoughts from the day before and most of them are negative. So we're repeating the same thoughts every fucking day and most of them are negative. So it makes sense that you feel like you can't get out of stuck or that you feel like you can never lose weight or I could never be rich. I could never make money. I could never have this or that or whatever it is, whatever you've told yourself you can't have or can't, you know, receive in this world. You've spent a lot of time in your life repeating this story over to yourself so much so that it's it's become a really, really solidified thought and belief about yourself. So the idea of simply showing up to your brain and saying, actually, I choose differently seems painfully simple because whilst it's simple, it still takes time. It takes repetition. It takes effort and effort is like, you know, we're lazy. <laughs> Humans are lazy by default. So of course, it's going to feel like you don't want to do it. It's, it is easier. It is easier to sit in, I'm poor, I'm broke, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm unlovable. It's a lot easier to sit in that. But is it as fulfilling? No. Are you going to get to the end of your days and feel like you lived a really exciting, big, grand life? Absolutely fucking not. And, you know, if somebody approached you and they were saying to you day after day after day how shit their lives were, do you think you'd want to spend time with that person? Absolutely not. And that's the energy that you're putting out there into the universe. So when you're putting out all this energy saying how shit life is and how bad things are and how, you know, worse off you are than everyone in in the world, you perpetuate that experience, you reiterate that energy to the universe and to yourself and you start becoming a magnet for bad shit. You literally become a magnet for speeding fines and, you know, driving through 
red lights on accident or someone keys your car or you know you get broken up with or your friends don't want to hang out with you anymore and you feel like this just solidifies it you're like yep see the universe is fucking out to get me I'm just doomed I'm cursed and again I used to be this person guys I'd be like yep of course I got a fucking speeding fine look at that of course I did typical everything bad happens to me but if I'm putting out that energy I am a magnet for similar energy the universe's purpose is not to sit upon a cloud or wherever you know out in the fucking ether to punish you you've not been put on earth to be punished okay I don't know where this meant mindset came from that people like life is life is rubbish and you know I don't deserve to have good things or the universe has put me here to just make me suffer that's not the fucking case why would they, why would the universe do that? What is its purpose to make us suffer? We've actually been put here to thrive, but we have to fucking work for it, right? You can't just be given everything in your life and the world doesn't owe you shit. I'm sorry if that like also hurts your feelings, but the world doesn't fucking owe you anything. So you have to show up. You have to put the energy out there. You cannot expect energy to come back to you if you're not putting it out there. You cannot expect good things to happen to you if you're constantly putting negative fucking rubbish out there. And here is the catch. Good and bad shit is always around us there are good people there are bad people there are good experiences there are bad experiences it's the yin and like yin and yang of life that there is a perfect equal amount of good and bad experiences but it's up to you how you choose to see it glass half full right or half empty you literally get to choose how you perceive the world and you'll notice on days where you're not feeling great you roll out of bed on the wrong side and you know you have a chain reaction of bad things happen if you had you know we think there are chain reaction of bad things but if you were in a better mindset that morning or you just decided to choose differently and think positively that morning you would have experienced the same day but just in a totally different fucking way simply because of your mindset so this isn't even a fucking woo thing guys this is literally just a real life logical thing is that you can wake up in the morning and you can get every single red light on the way to work and you can be like of course I fucking got every single red light or you can think so stoked I got every single red light was still to work still got to work on time I was able to listen to this podcast (laughs) in the car uh you know maybe having every single red light stopped me from bumping into someone awkward somewhere or it stopped me from being in a car accident glass half full you get to choose that thought every day and then as well if you are a negative person or you are somebody more negatively um negatively charged or negatively inclined is that you'll think well you know well that's fucking stupid why would I want to think that way why would I want to think that way well I ask you how would you rather think do you want to go through life constantly thinking that everything is out to get you is that literally how you want to experience the world because if you are then that's fine you can exit this podcast right now and continue on being a miserable shit but if you want to see differently if you want good experiences to come to you, if you want to be a magnet for more abundance and love and excitement and happiness then you must be the fucking energetic match for it you must choose differently and as, as I said I told you it's simple but it is work and you will need to challenge it and you know we've spent many many years on this planet thinking our old stories been spent many time many a time a lot of time sitting in our old stories our old limiting beliefs believing that the world is out to get us or we we can't do x y and z we spent a lot of our life thinking this to be true so it's going to take time to unravel it it's going to take time to build new neural pathways something that i've been learning a lot about recently is about the brain and neural pathways and how gratitude affects our brain matter and you know how we learn things and how we develop and how our brain expands and something really cool I watched this great video quick video on um, you know how we how we learn and how we learn new things and so basically when we're trying to learn a new skill like driving or basketball or even practicing gratitude or thinking differently we don't have a neural pathway in our brain yet so imagine your brain is like a forest and to get from point a to b you must trail through the forest it's a bit hard you've got you know rocks and shit in the way we've got to climb over stuff so it's a little bit harder to get there then as you start to repeat the process repeat you know basketball driving or gratitude a path starts to clear and it becomes easier and easier to get to from point a to b the more you practice the more you repeat then the path becomes a road then it becomes a highway and then it becomes this very very easy thing for you to do because you've built a new neural pathway so it's going to take time like imagine literally being in your brain trying to fucking pave a pathway like that's effort it's going to take time so i'm not saying that you're going to be able to change your mindset in one fucking day but you can choose differently right from this moment you can finish this podcast and go you know what fuck it i'm going to choose differently i'm going to show up differently in the world i'm going to choose to see the good in people and the good in the world um i'm not mad about my red lights today because you know maybe they are saving me from an act from an accident um you know and starting to choose differently you get to choose that right away so obviously building this pathway building a new neural pathway is going to take a bit of time and that's really fucking normal you'll have slip-ups you'll have bad mindset days I have them all the fucking time 
But the difference is that now I've done it so much, it's a lot easier for me to bounce back. Yes, I still have weeks where I get stuck, but I don't feel like I get stuck in it as often. And I know it can be really frustrating when you're starting, you know, this journey on a new mindset to think differently and, and want to see the world in a different light, especially if you're surrounded by other people who are very negative. And you're going to become hyper aware of this as well now that you've decided to choose differently. You're going to notice around you how negative people are about everything. They've got shit to say about money. They've got shit to say about you becoming your own boss. They've got shit to say about where you live like everyone's got their own fucking opinions and I would I would dare say that the majority of the planet is negative right so it is a lot harder to to choose positively it is a lot more difficult than to sit in negativity but the benefits of thinking positively the benefits of being optimistic outweigh all of that shit it fucking outweighs it. and then you become the fun friend that everybody wants to spend time with because you're so high vibe you're magnet for opportunities you're more likely to get jobs you're more likely to meet cool people make great connections and have great ideas because you are literally in a higher vibrational state which allows that to come to you So I know this has been a bit of a sassy podcast, a bit of a aggressive one, but sometimes you guys just need a little slap in the face. You know, like the world doesn't owe you anything. Remember that the world doesn't owe you fucking shit. So, and you have the choice every fucking day how you turn up and show up in this world. So choose a happier version of yourself and just watch how things around you fucking shift. Watch the opportunities that come your way. It is so profound and so amazing. I see it in my coaching clients all of the time all of the time they're like holy shit I started thinking differently and then I started this business now I get bookings and like life just feels a lot easier and I'm like yep obviously (laughs) like that's why you're here that's why you coached with me so I hope you have enjoyed this sass talk today it has been lovely to get some of this energy out of myself and into you guys so that you feel more motivated to go out and think differently and choose differently um would love to know what you think about this podcast feel free again to leave a review or shoot me a message on instagram and let me know if i gave you a good ass kick in today uh, what you've taken away from it and i will speak to you guys next time